Thermal energy or internal energy can be expressed popularly in America as calories or generally in joules. Most of the world uses joules. For example, we have low calorie drinks in America and the rest of the world has low joule drinks. One calorie is the amount of heat required to raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius. There are 4.19 joules in one calorie, so a calorie is larger than a joule. Energy is required to change the phase of matter. If we add enough heat to a solid, it will eventually change phase to a liquid. Or adding enough heat to a liquid will eventually change its phase to a gas. Energy is needed for this change. Conversely, energy must be extracted from a substance to change its phase in the direction from gas to liquid to solid. A phase change from ice to water to steam is nicely shown in this graph of temperature versus heat for one gram of water in these three phases. The lower left begins with ice at 50 degrees below zero Celsius. We apply heat and the ice warms to zero degrees Celsius, the freezing point of water. If we continue applying heat, the temperature remains constant while the ice melts. When 80 calories of heat have been applied, all the ice turns to water. The ice has melted. This 80 calories per gram is the heat of fusion of water, the amount of heat needed to separate molecules from the solid phase to the liquid phase. As we continue applying heat, the temperature of the water rises. It rises one Celsius degree for each one calorie of applied heat. Remember that by definition, one calorie increases one gram of water by one degree Celsius. Now here's the fascinating part. Once the water has reached 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. It changes from the liquid phase to the gaseous phase. And that takes energy, a lot of energy. A whopping 540 calories is required to change all the 100 degrees Celsius water to steam of the same temperature. In fact, evaporation at any temperature absorbs about 540 calories per gram. That's much more heat than is required to change a gram of ice at absolute zero to boiling water. The heat of vaporization of water, 540 calories per gram, is a lot of energy. Now you know why steam burns you much more than boiling water and why steam was used to power machines and trains at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, or why steam radiators are still used in homes today. Here I show the joule equivalent for these changes. To melt one gram of ice at zero degrees Celsius requires 335 joules, the same amount of energy as 80 calories. And changing one gram of ice water to boiling water requires 419 joules, the same as 100 calories. And changing the same amount of water to steam requires 2,255 joules, the same as 540 calories. Let's apply these figures to an intriguing problem. Suppose on a cold day you douse the cold hood of your car with 4 grams of boiling water. Suppose 1 gram of water rapidly evaporates. That, as we've learned, takes 540 calories. Suppose further that this 540 calories required for evaporation comes from the 3 grams of remaining water. Question. How many calories are taken away from each gram of water that remains? Can you see it's 540 divided by 3, which is 180 calories? If so, yum. Question 2. How many calories are released when one gram of 100 degrees Celsius water turns to zero degrees Celsius? Can you see it's 100 calories? Question three. How many calories are released when that gram of zero degrees Celsius water changes to ice at zero degrees Celsius? Recall this value from my graph? That's right, 80 calories for one gram of ice water. Final question four. What change occurs for the remaining three grams of water? Since each gram of water releases 180 calories, each gram changes to ice. That's 100 calories to cool to zero degrees Celsius and 80 more to change to ice. The result? 
All the water poured in the hood of the car that doesn't evaporate turns to ice. That's assuming heat transfer occurs only from the water itself. So we see the yum physics that occurs when hot water quickly turns to ice in a freezing cold environment. I want to leave you with a question. First, we know that one gram of 100 degrees steam releases 540 calories of heat when it condenses to 100 degrees Celsius water and 100 additional calories for the water to cool to zero degrees Celsius. That's a total of 640 calories from steam to ice water. So here's my question. How many grams of zero degree ice will one gram of 100 degree steam melt? Until next time, good energy.